All right, Earth Day. I asked you the question. I mean, where did it come from? Where did, where did the How we, long has it been Earth around? Come? Oh, I thought you meant the Earth. Uh, that when would did, be a when really did the Earth long start? Segment. So, <laughs> it's 39th Earth Day wow. today. It's the subject of tonight's forecast. Focus a little Earth Day history for you. I was kind of surprised that it was 39 years old. It was started by U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson back in 1970. He is from Wisconsin. The first Earth Day had 20 million participants. So there was a lot of uh, strength behind that first day before it became official. In Earth Day 2009, they estimate 1 billion people in 180 countries will do something to mark this day. There's a little bit of skepticism every day, of course, should be Earth Day, but uh, it's a good day, organizers say, to kick off a commitment or renew your commitment to doing something positive to help make the uh, world a little bit greener. If you go to KXLY.com, our Think Green blog is chock full of fun, helpful ideas to help you live a more earth-friendly lifestyle, a courtesy of our 11 o'clock producer, Andrea Flatley. Andrea Flatley. It is 58 degrees right now in Spokane, 59 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, 64 currently in Moscow and Pullman, in the 70s right now in Lewiston. We also made it into the 70s in Kalispell. That won't be long because we have a cold front moving through. It is producing some very light showers up in North Idaho and in northeastern Washington. These will be very isolated overnight, a sprinkle or two if anything. The main effect with the cold front in addition to the cooler uh, weather Gusty winds around the region. Southwest winds sustained right now in Spokane at 20 miles per hour. The gusts already starting to settle down this evening. We've seen wind gusts in the 30 mile per hour range. These winds will stay breezy overnight, but will die down somewhat from their current readings. On our satellite and radar, easy to pick out our cold front. Again, not a lot of moisture to work with with this system, but it is ushering in even cooler weather for tomorrow and unsettled conditions, especially as we get into the afternoon. We will see showery precipitation for the next couple of days, falling in a variety of springtime forms, uh, some small hail, grapple, some showers, and possibly even some snow mixing in with the rain even down in the valleys with the cold air aloft. Not a lot of action on our national map. We do have showers throughout the northeast. Only one spot where we're finding severe weather tonight with a severe thunderstorm warning just to the west of Wichita. Your seven-day outlook, a cooling trend for the next couple of days. We made it up into the lower 60s today. We're only in the lower 50s for Thursday and Friday with a good chance of showers tomorrow. Showers lingering for Friday. Warmer weather is on the way. We'll be climbing into the mid and upper 50s through the weekend. Mainly mountain showers on Saturday and Sunday and we'll be in and out of the clouds into the 60s for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday.